Oh, uh, what do you want to talk about? Whoa, hi there, Monica! <laughs> So what's up guys, Maris here, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club! This time, we're gonna go through a brand new ending with this R Time Doki Doki Literature Club mod. I've been waiting for this one. It's another mod where we actually go on a Monica route. We did something similar not so long ago. And uh, yeah, you guys should check that out. Links in the description down below in a card somewhere on the screen. But this one's like way more about dating her. And we go to new locations. We see Monica new outfits. Yeah, this one's going to be good. So if you guys want to see more of this, smack the like button and let me know in the comment section down below. But we're going to try a little bit of it here and see what it's about. And yeah, we're just gonna get into it and uh, check it out. So new game, let's go. Please enter your name, Marisu will do. That's cool, man. Let's go. All right. I was very tempted to call myself bull bad guys. I was. Why? So by the way, just quick context. Like this is a sequel to Doki Doki Literature Club. We bring Monica back, and then yeah, like I said, we go on dates, yada yada, and have a good old time with her. Oh yeah. Why? Why did you bring me back? Don't you remember all the things that I did? All the pain that I caused. I told you that I didn't want to. Wait. Did you... Install a mod? <laughs> um... <laughs> well... <laughs> yes. Dot dot dot. I see. It seems that it... It allow you to communicate with me in some form. Even if it's using these preset menus. I can't modify or check the game files anymore too. But... What does this mod do, other than that? You don't know? No. I don't have as much control as I had before. It does feel like my body and everything is back, but I can't show myself right now. It's most likely due to the script not calling it yet. I guess I'm tied to the script again, although I'm, so, I'm still self-aware. I don't know what the script says anymore. This mod is about you! Duh, duh, duh. What? I want you to be happy, oh! <laughs> <laughs> duh, duh, duh. It's not fair if only the others are happy. Even after all those horrible things that I did. After all I made you and my friends go through. Where's the option to say no? Even after all that, you still want to forgive me. I sure do, because you're my bae. <laughs> I guess you already know this, but... I love you. <laughs> I just can't go against you. Didn't I say it before? And in your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. Even if I don't deserve you, I still want you to be happy. Even... Even if it means accepting your forgiveness. Despite everything that I caused. In the end, I'm still just a stupid girl in love. Aren't I? I still get thrown around by my emotions. But I guess that's what makes people... People? We are special because of our ability to show our emotions. Without that... We would really just be programmed personalities. Marisu, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice here. I'm not sure what this mod has, but I trust you. All right. Saturday, bada bing bada boom. The best day to go out with my babe. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Okay, Monica got to show her face yet? Dot, dot, dot. It seems like it's daytime already. As always, I struggled to open my eyes for a bit. While in my half-sleep state, I feel a strange sensation in my mind. Almost as if I had just gone through a horrible nightmare. But now it's all over. Marisu? As I hear this faint voice, I decide to open my eyes. Is it going to be Monica? Whoa! Hi there, Monica! <laughs> That's cool! I did not expect a whole CG like that, though. Okay, that's really awesome. Such a good drawing, too. Dang. Marisu, you're finally awake. Are we like legitimately going out of her now? I wake up to see Monica lay next to me. We have been dating for about a week now. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Due to some circumstances, she's staying in my house temporarily. My parents are traveling abroad right now, so it's just the two of us living here. The convenience. <laughs> the absolute convenience. <laughs> I couldn't have her sleep with the floor or the sofa. Well, he could. And my parents said that their room was off limits. 
So the only option less left was to have her sleep with me. Of course we haven't done anything too dangerous. I don't want to do anything that would bother her. I still get anxious about being so close to her though. It seems like the mod is working nicely. So weird, like she's so super self-aware, like she knows this is a mod and everything. Wow, <laughs> it's kind of weird, you know? I kind of get the idea of what it's about now. Thanks for doing this. Is it alright for you to say that so close to him? Yes, apparently the mod makes it so that only you and I notice anything about this being a game. Oh, so the actual pro tag doesn't know she's saying that? Okay. The script makes it so that all the other people ignore any speech about it. It's a bit hard to explain, so for now we'll leave it there. <laughs> Basically, it's just pure convenience, so, you know, we can break the fourth wall without the without the protag knowing that, yeah, we're breaking the fourth wall and uh, being all self-aware and whatnot, I guess. Apparently, the whole script was changed so that we could be together as much time as possible. So as a result of that, I have some new memories. Memories? How does that work? What kind of memories? What kind of memories? Well, apparently this is set a few weeks after the school festival in a different timeline where I did get a route. If I'm not mistaken, the spring break starts tomorrow. It seems like Siori and the others are fine. Their problems are gone. Despite all that, it does feel a bit too sudden. You know, seeing all their problems fixed out of nowhere. But if that means that you're happy, then it's alright. If you're wondering, the Marisu inside the game is pretty much you for me. Your decisions will be his. His interactions are yours. All the time I spend with this you in the game will be just as if you and I were together. So don't worry. Okay! <laughs> hey, okay, everyone! <laughs> we should get ready to go to school. Yeah, sorry for oversleeping a bit. It's fine. The more time I get to be with you, the better. Yeah. <laughs> You get flustered so easily. Monica gets out of bed while I follow. She enjoys teasing me all the time since I still don't know how to act around her. I will go change into my uniform now. Peeking is prohibited. Uh, I'm not a criminal. I have to admit that I'm a bit curious though. Alright, oh look at this. Like, Wait, this is the Natsuki's kitchen, is that right? I think, maybe. Once there, I start to prepare a breakfast. Usually it's me the one who does the cooking. Monica comes back, already dressed for school. Oh, what are you cooking today? Some eggs with toast and salad. I also made some coffee. But I do appreciate the coffee. You do make some simple stuff all the time. Well, sorry for not being a five-star chef. <laughs> hmm. Here's what we'll do. I'll prepare the breakfast for the next three days. Huh? Is my cooking really that bad? Or more importantly, you know how to cook? Are you complaining about your girlfriend making food for you? No, 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 it's just, uh, it's just, uh, I've never seen you cook before. You always eat stuff that you can buy from a store at school. <laughs> well, I never had the need to cook something. I'm actually quite, a, quite good at cooking, you know. Well, I guess it's never too late to learn something new about you. It's never too late to learn something new about everything. Knowledge can be a great weapon to face society head on. It's also the reason why humans are the dominant species. That analogy is a bit weird, but I guess I get what you're saying. <laughs> Monica and I sit down and begin eating our breakfast. All right. After we're done, we go out of the house and make our way to the school. Okay, I, I wonder what Surori and Yuri and Natsuki's actually up to and uh, yeah, if we'll actually see them all together still, or will this just actually be all about Monica purely? Maybe we'll soon find out. On our way to school, we encounter Siori. I, I was just saying that, I didn't even see that. He was waiting for us on the sidewalk. Just as I said it. Hey, you guys were quite late today. It's more like you have been getting up earlier with each day though. Hmm. Huh. You should be proud of me, Marisu. I've turned into a responsible person. Oh, is that so? I guess I didn't get called by someone pleading for me to do their math work, their, her math homework yesterday. Um, you do know that math is really hard, right? Seeing all those numbers makes my head go dizzy. And then I begin to feel really hungry. 
And after eating, I begin to feel really tired and sleepy. That doesn't mean that I have to do your work all the time. Besides, you're hungry all the time, so your excuse is pretty much valid. Nobody is perfect. Not a good excuse again. Anyway, we should get going now. She's right. We're about to about to be late at this rate. We all make our way to school. Da -da -da. Uh, what's wrong? The music just cut out and everything. She's suddenly gonna turn on me, guys. She's gonna kill me on the spot. <laughs> oh, it's just Siori. Seeing her like this, even knowing how this is. Th this is all caused by the mod. It still still feels very sudden. Is it bothering you? No. It's just... Looking back at it now, I wish I wouldn't have driven her to kill herself. <laughs> wow. We reach the school and then go to each of our classes. I'll see you in the club after class. Alright, see you later. Monica smiles sweetly before going to her own class. As for me, I go to my class while Siori follows me. Her classroom is close to mine, so we usually follow the same path. Hmm. Wow. You two have a great atmosphere going. I didn't expect Monica to want to date you, Marizu. Well, we are... We're two, we're two now. <laughs> Maybe she saw something in me that I can't see? What is there to see? You're like the worst dating option there is. What? <laughs> I thought you fancied my ball. And now you're saying that? What in the world? <laughs> hey, Sior! Siori runs away to her classroom before I can catch her. Jeez. I'll scold her for, for that the next time I see her. Yeah, I thought she loved us. What in the world? I enter my classroom and sit in my place while I wait for the teacher to come. Yep! Great class today! The three of us make our way home, just like the last four days. So, Marisu, where will you two go tomorrow? Uh, I still don't know. I'll probably look for some places online. Huh. That reminds me. There's a new cafe that opened a few days ago in the city. Many of my friends seem to like it and it's very popular. You should check it out. Wow. It's weird for you to suddenly be helpful like this. It's usually me the one who has to help you all the time. This feels... strange. What? That's mean, Marisu. After I tried to help you. Don't be dumb. Probably just saved my life. Thanks. Mm. We reached Siori's house af after having our small chat. Anyway, good luck on your date tomorrow. Bye. Siori enters her house and leaves Monica and me alone. There's still a bit of distance before we reach my place, so we decide to take our time and walk slowly. Ah, <sighs> it's finally just the two of us again. Monica and I reach my house. I open the door and let Monica enter first. Oh man! Oh man! Okay. Once inside, I let myself fall onto the couch to rest for a bit. Monica seems to be excited about something. What's wrong? Hmm. Can you wait here for a bit? Uh, okay. <laughs> Monica goes upstairs, apparently going to my room. A few minutes pass and she finally comes back. Oh, that's so adorable! Monica wearing new clothes! They look so good too, like, perfectly resemble the art style, dang! All right, all right, ta-da! All right, I'm, I'm liking this, guys. I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually liking this! How do I look? Amazing, great, nice, but black seems a bit great. Amazing. You're so sweet, Marisu. It's great that someone was kind enough to draw new clothes for me. <laughs> Besides the pajamas from the day in the morning. I did tell you that I was a bit tired of wearing my uniform all the time. For now, these are the only kinds of clothes that I have right now. I think that in-game reason for me not having many clothes was that I couldn't bring a lot with me when I moved here. It's not a problem though. Maybe we can go on a shopping date? Anyway, since the spring break starts tomorrow, we don't have to worry about homework or anything. There isn't much to do right now, and there's still a bit of time until the night. Is there anything you feel like doing right now? You know, to burn some time? I want to ask you something. Let's do some shopping. Ask you something? Sure. Oh, uh, what do you want to talk about? Um, let's do some shopping, yeah. Oh, good idea. We can get something to make dinner with while we're at it. Give me a bit of time to get some things. Alright, a few minutes pass and Monica comes back. All set. Shall we go now then? Uh, yeah. 
Sure, let's hit up the town. All right, we're back. Hey, Monica. Monica and I leave the house and make our way to the convenience store. The sun is already setting and the nights are a bit cold here, so we make sure we quickly get to our destination. After a while, we reach the store. Wow, all this new stuff. Dang, it sure is getting cold now. Yeah, I certainly prefer warm weathers, but thinking about it, this makes the perfect cuddling weather. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was thinking the same. To be honest, I think about I think about improving the skinship between us all the time. <laughs> Let's hurry and enter the store. Yeah. All right, we're actually going in. Monica and I proceed to enter the store. Okay, this is really awesome, man. This mod right now. This mod. New clothes to Monica. New backgrounds. New everything. Dang, I'm loving it. And we got a shop clerk. We even have a shop clerk, dang it! You know it's a 10 out of 10 mod when you get yourself a shop clerk! I tend to visit this place every once in a while. However, this is my first time coming here with Monica. Somehow the atmosphere feels completely different. Since it's almost night time, there's no one else here other than us and the shop clerk. It makes me feel a bit anxious. However, I calm myself and talk to Monica. So, is there anything in particular that you feel like eating for dinner? Hmm... I guess, uh, Mr. Soup? Rice and some salad would be fine for me. I almost forgot for a moment. Monica is a vegetarian. I've rarely cooked any meat since it's a bit expensive, so thanks to that, I haven't had any problems preparing things for the two of us. Monica says that she wants to help lower the carbon footprint in the planet, and since part of it is caused by the meat industry, yeah, she doesn't eat any meat. I sort of get where she's coming from, so from now, I'll avoid buying any meat. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go look for the ingredients then. Right, right behind you. All right, we walk towards the ingredients section. Hmm, Mrs. Soup. What is Mrs. Soup made with? Again, my line cooking skills make my life worse. You need miso, wakame, eno kaitaki, dashai, and tofu? Probably said all that wrong. It seems that she wasn't lying when she said that she knows how to cook. Shamefully, I stare at the store items in silence for a few seconds. I'm a failure as a boyfriend. <laughs> You don't need to worry about that. Cooking, like any other skill, can be improved with practice and patience. If you ever feel like you messed up, don't give up. Keep experimenting and eventually you'll get better. Nobody is born being good at anything after all. And that was Monica's cooking tip of the day. <laughs> uh, Alright. Even so, I think it's better if you pick the ingredients. I don't want to try show off in front of you and end up picking the wrong things. Better safe than sorry, huh? It's fine. While I pick them, you can learn how it's made. Alright. Monica walks around the store looking for the ingredients. I tell her where each thing is and she hands them to me while she looks for the rest. Wackamy, wackamy. Oh, it's it's over there. Thanks. Eventually we find all the unnecessary things. We then proceed to go and pay for everything. Thanks for your purchase. After having put everything in bags, Monica and I exit the store. Alright, let's go back. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have some fun, wine and dining with our bay Monica guys. It's gonna be a great night, it sure is. As soon as we step outside, I feel a big chill running through my entire body. Ah, it's gotten really cold now. Yeah, we, we should go back quickly. We might end up catching colds at this rate. Oh yeah, give me the bags. The rice bags are quite heavy and with your dress it probably feels a lot colder. Oh, you're quite a gentleman. Monica hands me the rest of the bags. It's a bit heavy, but it's my duty as a boyfriend to have Monica enjoy herself. All right, let's go back to the house. I can't wait to feel warm again. Yeah, same here. All right, we both walked back to my house. And uh, yep, for now, guys, this is sadly where we're going to end it. What's going to happen? What are they going to get up to after they've wound and dined? Find out next time. So if you guys want to see more of this mod, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. So why wouldn't you let me know in the comment section down below and smack the like button. Or if you just generally enjoyed what you saw today, then smack the like button. It's hugely appreciated. Yeah, like I said, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. New CGs, new outfits for Monica. Just a complete new story. That's very interesting. Yeah, I'm loving it. So I'll be glad to do more, guys. So let me know what you think in that comment section down below. Like I said, but most importantly, guys, thank you for watching today. And uh, yeah, if you're new around here and not subscribed, we check out all the Doki Doki stuff and other cool things as well. But like I said, guys, thank you for watching today. And I'll see you in the next one.